The Syrian air defence forces thwarted three Israeli missile attacks on targets near Damascus, the country's defence ministry said in a statement on January the 9th. According to the statement, at 2.40 local time, Israeli warplanes launched several missiles from Lebanese airspace at targets near Damascus. The missiles were intercepted and one Israeli warplane was targeted by air defence forces. At 4 o'clock local time, two surface-to-surface -surface missiles were launched from the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. They were also intercepted. At 4.15 local time, Israeli forces launched another four missiles from the Golan Heights. One missile was intercepted and the others hit a target, causing damage to positions of Syrian forces. The ministry added that the Israeli actions were aimed at supporting militant operations in the eastern Qutar region near Damascus and to counter the victories achieved by the Syrian army in Idlib province. The US Navy's Boeing P-8 Poseidon military aircraft was detected in the area between Russia's Khmeimim Air Base and Tartus Naval Facility in Syria, where militants attacked the facilities using 13 armed unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, during the night on January the 6th, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement on January the 9th. It is a strange coincidence that during a UAV attack on the Russian military facilities in Syria, a US Poseidon reconnaissance aircraft was cruising for more than four hours over the Mediterranean Sea at an altitude of 7,000 meters, the statement said. Separately, the ministry revealed via its newspaper Red Star that the aforementioned UAVs were launched from the Muazara settlement, located in the southwestern part of the Idlib de-escalation zone controlled by the armed forces of the so-called moderate opposition. The ministry has sent letters to Turkey's Chief of General Staff Hulusi Akar and Intelligence Chief Hakan Fidan saying that it is necessary for Ankara to meet assumed obligations to ensure ceasefire by controlling armed forces and intensifying efforts to put observation points in the de-escalation zone in Idlib for preventing such UAV attacks on any targets.